This is an old one. It's an old black and white TV from first half of the 60s. Aristona, Aristona, which was a brand of Philips. It's all tube. Yeah, it's it's a really basic black and white TV. Nothing fancy. Here's the inside of the TV. Nice tube diagram. The reason why I've opened this TV is because I want to replace these type of black capacitors. These are usually bad or they go bad after a couple of minutes. So that's what I want to do. I don't have a CRT tester so I cannot test the picture tube. I assume it's good if I look at the general condition of the TV. But uh, well, I don't know. There's not a of those black capacitors. When those black capacitors start smoking, they start smoking real good. <laughs> so, I better replace them. I haven't turned on this TV yet, and uh, I'm not going to do that either before I've replaced those black capacitors. And from there on, I will see if it works. But uh, I will first replace those capacitors. Let me open the uh, high voltage cage. Here's the inside of the high voltage cage. Nice flyback. Yeah, not a whole lot to see. But as you can see the cover here of the high voltage cage contains this small black asbestos plate so you better be careful with that I'm not even going to touch that back at the Aristona 48T014A television um, I've replaced some capacitors of this TV previous week. 
um, among others the uh, booster capacitor and the TV right now uh, works um, one of the things that I noticed is that this television although it has inputs for VHF and UHF um, it really only has a VHF tuner and this knob over here not sure if you can see it, it's a little bit dark over here this knob is for VHF only um, as it turns out this TV uses a uh, Philips chassis and because this this is a an Aristona which is um, basically a Philips but then a little bit cheaper um, it does not have the UHF tuner although it is prepared for it so uh, the user or the repairman back in the 60s could easily add a UHF tuner to this TV this TV however only has a VHF tuner and because where I live all television channels um, these days are being broadcasted on the UHF band um, I had to come up with a solution um, well to get any uh, reception um, so what I've done is I have bought a UHF to VHF converter box which is this grey box um, this box can convert a UHF signal uh, from for instance this card input or the composite video input and can convert the UHF signal to a VHF signal to this antenna output unfortunately with this converter box it's not possible to um, to directly um, input the UHF signal in the box and then convert it to VHF because that would be a lot easier because here where I live um, we still have uh, analog cable TV so if that was possible I would not need this um, digital TV receiver but with this converter box that's not possible so uh, I need it and uh, I've connected the uh, digital uh, TV receiver to this converter and right now I can watch TV on my VHF only uh, Aristona black and white tube TV which I think is from around 1965 or perhaps 1964 I'm not entirely sure um, the chassis which this TV uses comes from a uh, I believe a Philips 19 TX 410A not sure anymore exactly but anyway I'm going to show you uh, that it works right now I've actually uh, only replaced the most um, uh, failure sensitive capacitors um, which were all um, apart from one which were all apart from one uh, tar capacitors and while well, those old tar capacitors they usually go up in smoke 
after some minutes of use so uh, yeah well they really needed replacement um, and yeah also because this TV is so old uh, I needed to use um, some tricks uh, because the values of the old capacitors do not correspond with the values of modern capacitors so um, for instance I had to replace a capacitor uh, for which I have used two new capacitors uh, which I wired in parallel so yeah that's a drawback of uh, of old electronics but uh, well, anyway, it works right now. I'm going to show you. And yeah, because it's a tube television, you won't you won't get a picture immediately. So we have to wait for a couple of seconds. Goedenavond dames en heren. Afgelopen donderdag was er het grote succes voor de Nederlandse dressuurruiters goud in de landenwedstrijd. Vandaag moeten ze het helemaal alleen doen. Edward Gal zette in die landenwedstrijd al de tweede score neer. And here comes the heroic blind man. Tell us sir, how did you summon the courage to save your friend from that burning building? That freaking place was on fire! And there you have it. Coming up next, watch me shave. Yeah, Peter, you were amazing. Huh. You know, Brian, I guess I was. And you know what else? People are gonna yeah, the, 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 pic the picture of this TV is quite good, but I'm not 100% satisfied yet. Um, I need to adjust the horizontal a little bit. Uh, a little bit to the right, I believe. And there's another thing. I'm not sure if you can see it, but... Here on the left side you see some vertical lines. And I am not sure what causes those vertical lines. It's not really noticeable when you don't pay attention to it and you watch it from a distance but there's Greg Hoffman oh, he's such a rebel oh my god he's so gorgeous and he plays by no one's rules but his own Meg you should ask him out I mean you're the only one of us who's ever had a real boyfriend I'm back I brought another picnic you're such a good listener, not like the other boys. You're so good with animals. I guess I could give it a try. All right, here goes. <sighs> Hi, Craig. Um, I, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to, I don't know, go out sometime? Huh, that's about as likely as me playing by someone else's rules besides my own, which I would never do. I play by my own rules, nobody else's, not even my own. How about a movie? I don't go out with dudes. Mom, Dad, am I ugly? Oh, of course not, sweetie. Yeah, where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig, uh, Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid, you might be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there, let me dry those tears. Uh, uh, yes, yes, your anguish sustains me. Meg, honey, don't let those awful kids at school make you feel bad about yourself. I tell you what, tomorrow you and I are gonna go out and get you some brand new... Oh my god! Morris, 
What is this all about? What the hell's it look like? I'm putting the bar up for sale. Oh, please tell me this is some kind of practical joke. Like, like the kind I used to play when I was an intern at the hospital. I'm afraid I have some very bad news. Your wife's gonna be a vegetable. You'll have to bathe her, feed her, and care for her the rest of her life. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I, I'm just kidding. She's dead. Ever since that mega mall opened across the street, it's been taking away all my business. They got 300 stores, 200 restaurants, 53 bars, and an indoor cattle ranch. I go to Baskin Robbins every night and buy myself a little treat. Now, how the hell am I supposed to compete with that? You need to fix the place up. Reinvent the clam's image, and we'll help you. That'll take forever. And if we do a 1980s fixing stuff up montage. <laughs> Boy, I do not envy whoever has to clean that mess up. Brian, why don't you take Stewie while Meg and I go clothes shopping? You know, it's awfully dangerous for me to be walking around the mall at my height. I say, let me get on your back. Oh, but for God's sake. Strong with the force young Skywalker is. God, I don't believe this. That is why you fail. Oh, what about this, Meg? A pink baby tee that says little slut. That seems pretty hip. I don't know if that's really me, Mom. Well, they've got one that says porn star and another that says sperm dumpster. And they're all written in glitter. All right, all right. Give me sperm dumpster. That's the spirit. You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any. How do these jeans look? <laughs> Ten bucks. Five bucks. Eight bucks and I'll do it. Fine. Help! I escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement! Help me! Ha! I am so outrageous! Give me the cash. Gold in here? Look just really small. Face it, Mom. No matter what I wear, I look ugly. I'll make you be in. That's... Let's try down here. Coming up next, Joan Rivers speaks to us from beyond the grave. But first, let's go to the Quahog Mega Mall, where Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa is handing out makeovers. That's right, Tom. Some lucky hideous woman will be transformed by our makeover magicians into someone of value to society. Meg, that's it. You could get a makeover. Yeah, the, the brightness of the picture tube is still pretty good. This is a mini watt picture tube. I'm also uh, satisfied with the uh, focus of this tube, which it's pretty sharp. Face it, the clam is doomed. Oh, come on, guys, we can't give up now. Oh, Peter, we've tried every theme we could think of, and everything's failed, especially that the coyote ugly theme. Ah, it's no use. This place is finished. Wagmire, go get the for sale sign. Hey, Horace, what the hell's it? Yeah, it's a karaoke machine. I never got around to installing it. A karaoke machine? Wait a minute, that's it. We'll turn this place into a karaoke bar. Oh, man, that's the best idea since they faked the moon landing. Okay, cut. Wow, Neil Armstrong. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be on the moon. I just saw it on TV. Oh, there's a, uh, you know, a tape delay and uh, with all the uh, solar winds. Ina, take a look at your daughter. Oh my God, Lois, I'm sorry. It was 20 years ago. I'd never even heard the word rubber. Ina, and... this is Meg. Oh. I got a makeover, Dad. Don't I look great? Oh, Meg, honey, I always thought you were beautiful. Just to wait. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Couldn't do that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, 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 welcome to the family, sweetheart. Chris, go burn all Meg's old pictures. There's got to be a morning after. We're moving closer to the shore. If you compare the sound quality of this very old television to a modern flat screen you immediately notice just how much more bass this large speaker in this TV has I don't understand it 
this place should be jumping. With this TV, there's really no need for or an external um, speaker, soundbar, or whatever. So yeah, that, uh, that sums up the video for the uh, Aristona 48T014A. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, well, stay tuned because I have a lot more of uh, old electronics that, um, well, need a video or Need a repair. Yeah, hey, sorry I'm late, fellas. Oh, cool, Glenn. You look just like Tommy Lee. Well, I think it'd be appropriate. Well, folks, take care. And, uh, well, see you later. Goodbye.